Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam and in this tutorial series we are going to take a look on one of the important concept that comes under Oracle Fusion application that is a spreadsheet data loader. So before we proceed and see how do we uh, do uh, this uh, in our Oracle Fusion uh, HCM cloud uh, we should uh, know about the basic introduction or overview of spreadsheet data loader so what is a spreadsheet data loader is basically so HCM spreadsheet data loader loads HCM business objects from spreadsheet it means that if we want to load uh, the data or information in our uh, uh, HCM cloud so we can load uh, the data with the help of a spreadsheet we can generate uh, the objects from spreadsheet templates so the next question comes what are business objects so business object is nothing but uh, all the uh, uh, business related uh, data like uh, we uh, whenever an organization has established we need to load certain objects like uh, we have to load the uh, locations jobs positions departments grades all these falls under business objects these are called the business objects which we can load via spreadsheet data loader next we have a spreadsheet template for a business object contains selected attributes in a specified order it means that uh, uh, the spreadsheet which we have uh, downloaded uh, it contains uh, uh, all the desired attributes for a particular business object like uh, its name its effective start date its uh, status uh, all things uh, uh, comes under this one so uh, next so here uh, uh, in this session i am going to import or load one of the business object uh, that is department so i am going to show you how do we load uh, multiple departments via spreadsheet data loader so in order to uh, import or load data into the uh, oracle hcm cloud uh, firstly we should uh, uh, ensure that uh, one of the important tool that is ADFDI application development framework desktop integration this tool has been installed in our system otherwise we will not be able to work or load the data via spreadsheet data loader this tool must install in our system so here for time being i have already logged into the instance this is the home page of my instance and uh, uh, here i am going to show you how do we download this uh, spreadsheet and from where we have to download this one so this is the home page so here from here we have to click on this uh, my client group option and under it we have another option called data exchange or let me show you other thing first so click on this uh, uh, profile icon click on this one uh, under setting and actions we have an option setup and maintenance click on this one and here from this global search icon we are going to search for the departments as I am going to load the department so here we have an option manage departments search for this one click on it here under this uh, window we have an uh, option called manage in spreadsheet click on this one so what will happen one spreadsheet or excel sheet will get downloaded in our system okay open it 
so here the excel sheet has been downloaded or it has opened before us so click on this enable editing option when we click on this enable editing option it will ask us for the credentials uh, for instance credentials we have to provide it over here so yes i want to connect uh, so click on this this uh, pop-up basically uh, appears or visible to only those uh, who has been downloaded uh, the adfdi tool as i have already told you that this tool is must in order to load the data via spreadsheet so i'm going to click on yes this uh, login window has opened here i have provided the appropriate credentials for the instance same credentials we have to provide it over here with which we have logged in our oracle cloud click on sign in it is establishing the connection So here we can see our spreadsheet over here. So before we uh, uh, create the department, firstly, we have to create the data set for this one. Click on this uh, create data set option. Click on it and it will going to uh, ask you creating new data set will cause the unsafe changes to be lost. Do you want to continue? Yes. Click on OK. And here we get the uh, confirmation that data set created successfully. Okay. And here we can see the data set name over here. Now we are going to uh, create the department. So uh, all the mandatory information I'm going to fill it over here for the department as effective start date is the mandatory one next we have to give the name for department so i am going to provide bisphr department next we have to provide the code for this one so i am going to keep the code as common status will going to be active and I think this is all about the mandatory fields. Yes. And so here I have uh, inserted or created one department. So I am going to add a uh, two three more uh, departments so in order to do so firstly we have to uh, unprotect this sheet as i am as i will uh, go and create another department so it will uh, uh, it will prompt uh, me to unprotect this sheet first so firstly i have to unprotect this one and then I'll be able to create more departments. So here I have uh, created uh, five departments. And uh, next, what next we have to do after uh, uh, creating all the required departments, we have to go to the spreadsheet uh, loader option over here and click on this more option and click on upload then click on ok as it is uploading so here we get one confirmation message the requested the request to import and load the spreadsheet data was successful click on ok so our and here we get 
this status like row inserted successfully so all the five rows has been uh, inserted successfully and uh, now we will go to the instance and check for this one so go to the instance and from here we have to go to my client group under it we have to go to data exchange option and under HCM spreadsheet data loader we are going to click on this recent spreadsheet loads click on this one so that it will uh, show us the recent spreadsheet which we have which we have uh, uploaded so this we can see which we have just uh, uploaded in our instance so the status for this one is in progress click on refresh we have to refresh this page until we get the success message over here for the status keep on refreshing so here we have received the success message that uh, department has been loaded load load status is success and we have successfully loaded our data and in order to get a more detailed description for this one we have to go to another option called uh, important load data so here we can get the detailed description for this one import status load status import success total lines how many lines uh, we have uh, uploaded so we have uploaded basically the five departments so we get uh, the total object number over here which is five and next what we have to do we just have to go to the home page and we have to search for the departments click on setting uh, profile icon setup and maintenance go to global search and search for manage departments search for this one click on it and here we have to give or provide the name for the department so BISP and search for this one so here we can see all the five departments have been successfully imported or loaded in our instance we uh, we have uploaded the uh, BISP finance department HR department IT department marketing department and sales department so um, and the status of uh, department uh, set is common status is active all the uh, mandatory informations we have provided we are uh, able to see all the uh, information over here so this is about uh, the spreadsheet data loader in oracle fusion hcm cloud how do we load uh, uh, or import the data via spreadsheet in our uh, hcm cloud and this is all about our today's session if you have any question regarding this please reach out to us at www.bispcreenings.com so thank you everyone for watching